Hello everyone, this video is going to focus on, again, process capable to six pack report analysis. But this time uh, we are going to take a look at uh, what happens if your data is not structured like this um, in a neat way. Let's go to the second tab and then let's see that, um, let's remind ourselves one more time that this data is not structured in the same way that, that I showed you before. So what we have here, the first file observation belongs to the first subgroup Second file observation belongs to the second subgroup, so on and so forth. We do have 25 different subgroups. Sometimes we tend to keep our data in the structure. Um, and if we do, do we need to you know, switch back to this structure or can we handle this structure as well? The short answer is yes, we can. Um, and again, we need to go to stat, um, basic, st sorry, uh, quality tools, capable to six packs and click normal. This time, um, we will have to select the first option where it says um, data are arranged as a single column. And we do keep our values in the C2 values column and our subgroups, uh, subgroup size is actually five. So in every subgroup, we do have five observations. I'm going to keep my lower specification limit and upper specification limit as the same and I will uh, go to options. I will select my um, Sigma level or Z bench level, all right? Hit okay, and hit okay. Look at the new chart that's created for this uh, newly structured data set. Um, and let's take a look at to see whether the numbers are seen. Um, uh, let's take a look at, for example, upper control limit uh, on the X chart, and it is 106.4847, and it is 106.47, right? So everything is the same here. Um, and let's remind us one more time that our CPK and PPK are not greater than 1.33. It means that this process is not capable of uh, meeting design, design specifications, although, my X chart and R chart are telling me that this process is under statistical process control. Again, being under statistical process control does not imply capable processes or being capable process does not imply that we have statistical process controlled operations. Okay, um, these two things are different. So um, the statistical process control comes from the data itself and the upper specification limit, lower specification limit is going to imply whether we do have a capable process or not. Um, 